Live streaming is one of the most convenient and intimate ways that content creators can get in touch with their fans. But what happens when all this goes horribly wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Cam is a Netflix movie by powerhouse horror studio Blumhouse. Now, Blumhouse has been responsible for some of my favourite horrors. However, the production company has been known recently for pumping out quantity rather than quality. And even the trailer for this movie just looked like another predictable B-grade horror. However, the legend himself, Stephen King, spoke of it in high regard on Twitter, so I thought I'd give it a chance. Now, don't stress if you haven't yet got the chance to check out this film, as I'm going to leave out any major spoilers. Cam follows the story of Alice, or Lola as she's known online. We first meet her attempting to push her live streams to the limit, using graphic, gory stunts to work her way up the Cam Girl charts. At first, the movie follows Alice's internal conflict and her struggle to walk the line between a classy PG-13, yet failing channel, or an X-rated, highly successful channel. But one morning, she finds herself locked out of her channel, and what appears to be someone with her exact likeness is streaming for her and doing things that Alice would never normally do. All of this is in the trailer, but trust me when I say the trailer does not do this movie any justice. And if you haven't yet watched the trailer, I'd give it a miss. It makes Cam look like a cheesy attempt at being unique, staging a modern horror using live streaming as a medium. However, in reality, this film is a slow burn that doesn't use any jump scares, and the director expertly builds tension from start to finish. There are parts that would sound petty and mundane on paper, but the scenes are crafted in such a way that it grips you and doesn't let you go. When her channel is taken over, you can really feel her frustration and humiliation when her likeness is taking things too far. The direction is one thing, but as Stephen King said, Madeline Brewer, known for roles such as Orange is the New Black and Handmaid's Tale, does an amazing job of a confident yet secretly troubled and unravelling young woman. This kind of role would be easy to overact, and I feel if casted incorrectly, it could have easily ruined what the movie set out to achieve. They've done a great job emulating what live streams these days are really like and how people react to them, whilst capturing the desperation that Alice has to literally do whatever she can to get the views. But thanks to Brewer, none of it is cringeworthy, despite the emotes looking over 10 years old and the chat box font is Comic Sans. With horror movies these days, they can sometimes start off well, but they never come through with a satisfying ending. And throughout the film, I was dreading how they were going to explain the unexplainable. But without spoiling anything, they did a really good job wrapping it up. Cam is now streaming on Netflix, and I would definitely recommend it if you're up for a modern, slow burn horror that doesn't rely on cheap scares or horrific imagery to be scary. But have you yet managed to check out Cam? If so, then what did you think? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.